All right. Now let me make sure y'all can't hear. All right, no, you guys can't. <coughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, the Unfading Rocket here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, we've just, me and my folks, we've just finished watching the presidential debate. Now I'm going to start playing the Pokemon DLC. Um, let's see what we got going on with this DLC. Not the biggest Pokemon. I mean, I'm a, I am a Pokemon fan. Well, I'll give Sword and Shield. Honestly, I didn't think I. I don't know if I put it in my top ten games of 2019. But <clears throat> you know, it's something. We're gonna talk some shit about the presidential debate. I really wish I could like share this on like my Twitter. But actually, I can't. Oh, there's my link. Was that the team I used when I finished it? Huh. God help me if I'm not playing this one correctly. I mean, if I spelled shield correctly. Sorry, you guys. I have to. Re I really have to do all of this because I don't have a. I gotta do. You know. I'm, uh, you know. I got no excuse. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, where were we? Mm. Now, keep in mind, I didn't look up any sort of guides. I didn't look up any, none of that. Oh, there it is, right there. Whew, beautiful, pretty. All right, I, oh, man, I'm broke. I ain't got my TV. That's here. We're going to have some fun with this one, people. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the debate uh, after, well, you know, once everything here doesn't shock me. You have a crown pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedshire Station if you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of lore. <laughs> But, uh, <clears throat> we'll go to the past real quick, but, um, uh, is Heracross in this game? Oh, no, Heracross is not in this game. Damn. Low-key, I'm not gonna lie to you. If any of you guys who watch me play Pokemon, I mean, any of you guys who watch me, if any of you guys have a Heracross, please, please, trade me a Heracross. Because I know he's in Shield. I don't think he's in Shield. I am Shield. I don't have Shield. So, therefore, I need you guys, please, be yeah, there for your boy to get me a hair cross. Hair cross is the coolest looking Pokemon. I don't even use it for his power. I just wanted, I just love Hercules Beetles in general. But damn, like, oh man, I want a, I want a hair cross. Okay, so I think, uh, to be fair, uh, well, keeping a Lobitar, I didn't have one, and now I do. Then I, I kept him because I was going to give him the thing. Um, oh, shit. That actually just reminded me. Damn, I'm supposed to be playing the Crown Tundra DLC and I'm not even doing that. I am so, <laughs> I am so sorry, people. Um, 
I am so, oh, so, so sorry. I almost feel like replaying this game again from like scratch. Alright, let's. Uh, God, we get sandy weather today in our content. But, uh, yeah, I keep talking about it, I'm not even. I don't have anything much to say, people. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I really don't have a lot, a whole lot to say about the presidential debate because I'm not going to lie to you. I'd be, I'd be remiss if I, if I told you that I, honestly cared about either or president. I really don't. Both of those guys, right now, to me at least, don't sound like people who really sound like as if they're, they're, they're trying to work for the common man. Because the problem is, is that. Um, in terms of, like, Trump, I already know Trump doesn't care about the common man at all. He only cares about people of his, you know, people that he's close to, his money, and people with money, people with power, and all that stuff. He cares about them, he doesn't really care about the common man. All those, oh, uh, finally. Let's see what the egg is, real quick. What? So it's just a, okay, so it's just, he doesn't have a mini form? I didn't even know that. Oh, you learn something new every day. Sorry, anyways, what was that? Yeah, um, yeah, concerning the debate. Ah, uh, damn, I'm not go, okay. I didn't beat him, man. I didn't beat him, I don't care. Um, yeah, concerning the presidential debate, there's not really a lot I, I have to say on the matter. I, both presidents don't really interest me. Trump doesn't care about the, the common man. He only cares about people like him with money, with power, and his skin color. Don't let what he don't let what he's been saying in the debate fool you. This man, oh lord, good God, I've never heard a president ever compare himself. Okay, I understand. He, he didn't directly say that he is that he, I don't think he didn't compare himself. He said that he, he compared his actions. That's the part that that's the part that sounds ridiculous to me. He saw, he compared his actions to you know African Americans to the black people as being as being as great as if not better from his from his tone. He compared what he says to Biden, and I'm sitting. I mean, I said Biden. Good God, not Biden. Abraham Lincoln. And I'm sitting here like, I know Abraham Lincoln wasn't the greatest man in history. I mean, he is. I know he's not directly responsible for the for the freedom of the slaves, but it was during his run that slaves were freed, so we do have to give him that. But like, Trump comparing himself to Lincoln? I don't think I've ever heard such heresy out of a man's mouth in my entire life. Not since at least the per- I'm not at since- oh no, no, let me not do that, I'm not gonna do that shit. What was I saying? <laughs> no, okay. Um... I'm gonna that kind of sword. Nah, I'll keep doing that. Um, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, um, fam, like, what the hell is, what is that, what is that man doing? I mean, what's, what, what is with that man? I don't know. But, he's, he's no better. And, 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 and you know what, fuck it, I don't even want to talk about the president of the debate, I just want to play the new game. I want to play the new Pokemon series in the expansion pass, and that's what we're going to do, right? We're not going to talk about it. All right, we're not going to talk about the two ridiculous presidents that we have. I mean, two ridiculous presidents that we have. We're we'll just going to sit here and play some Pokemon. Because that's what we're, that's what, that's exactly what you guys think we're going to What if it's going to Oh, that's a little first one. Let's see. Take a look, take a look, fire! I don't like to. You probably have the best animations for a movie. Of all the stars I've seen. Good stuff, Cinderace. I remember Y2. Uh, I remember. Okay, so, you know, I, I'm trying my. I really hope I don't get in trouble with the LGBTQ. I think they added an extra letter. The LGBTQ for this one. But, like. Okay, so if you, I mean, if you guys didn't know, right? My homeboy Y2820, or Y2 Spectacle, as he's more politely known as. This man, when the last time, when, the last time we all bought a Pokemon game, right? We all bought, um, we all bought Pokemon Sun, uh, Sun and Moon. I got Sun. Uh, Y2 got Sun. Easy got Moon. 
But, um... When we bought... Oh my god. Alright, yeah, you want to uh, you wanna keep Metal Claw? Alright, get rid of Leer. Leer is a useless move. No! Damn! Fuck! Just forget Scary Face. I mean, you are a rock type, it's so only normal that you have a rock type move to go with it. Is he a dragon or is he a rock and ground type straight up? Stomping Tantrum, that's a move? Oh, it's a ground type move. Well, uh, okay, let me check. Rock throw's not really good, rock slide's actually better. I think I'm going to get rid of rock throw. Oh, yeah, what was it? Yeah. This man, Y2860. When he bought Pokemon Sword and Shield, got, uh, you know, the three starters were Pop Leo's, uh, damn. I forgot that Litten, I think his name was Litten. Oh, sorry. And I don't even remember what the hell the grass type was called. It was an owl. The, gr the grass owl. I don't even remember what he's called. But, anyways, uh, when Y2 got, um, God, this story is searching on longer than it needs to. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I, I, I really need to stop. Okay, hold on. Fuck. <laughs> um, Alright, get rid of Sweet Scent. Alright, alright, alright. What was okay? Whew. Okay, I'm good. The breeze now. Okay, all right. Whoa. Oh. I just wanted to go for that. Okay, I, I just wanted. To. Anyways, we're gonna go over and kill up, and then we're gonna go to the breeze. Um. Yeah. Okay. Y2, 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 this man, the, you know, homie, homeboy, this man, he got Poplio as his first, Pope, as his first, as his starter. I got Litten, I naturally wanted to get the cat that evolved into a wrestler, because I'm a wrestling fan. I thought Y2 would have chosen the same thing, instead he chose Poplio, which was like a seal. Basically, it was a, a blue version of seal, right? Now, seal, when it evolves, it evolves into, I'm sorry, when seal evolves, he evolves, um, when Seal evolves, he evolves into the evolution names elude me as we speak, but its third evolution form, its final form, is basically like a female Seal. Like, it, it's complete with like, you know, complete with all long eyelashes and all that stuff, and the th problem was, was that Y2 got a male version of that Pokemon. So it's like, Litten, it could be male or female. Even when it evolves, it looks like it could be male or female. It's at the final evolution where you're kind of like, it looks more like a dude, but it could technically be a girl because there are some female wrestlers out there who look big and who look as big and strong as men. But Poplio, at its final evolution form, Incineroar is the name of the um, cat, by the way. But in Poplio's final form, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I really don't remember because I didn't care that much about the Pokemon. But Y2, when he got the male version of Poplio, and his final evolution, his final evolved form basically was like a, a male in a female's body, and it was crazy. It's like that's one of those things about Pokemon that I will, that's that's always going to like, you know, get me. That's always going to make me laugh. It's like Pokemon. I don't know if it's because they're too lazy to do it. I would like to imagine that they're not. But I, I don't know, like, it's like, the male versions of certain Pokemon here should probably be male. And the female versions should probably be female. Now, that's, you know, I'm trying not to sound sexist, but it's like, it's a, it's kind of obvious if it's a male or female, right? I don't really have a problem with it. It's not, it's not that it bothers me, it's just something that makes me laugh. We were joking about it, <laughs> we were joking about it a whole bunch of times, uh, when, uh, when y 2 thing, he was like, damn. You really got you, you really got a you really got a dude. I mean, you got a chicken and dude at the same time as your Pokemon. <laughs> now, the reason why I brought that story up is because of the fact that Y2 says that Score Bunny, this Pokemon right here, the final evolution form of Cinderace is the name of the rabbit. Score Bunny is the name of the first one. 
score bunny looked like a the score bunny when it was finally evolved looked like a looked like a uh, female. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, score bunny kind of does legs, hair, all that stuff kind of does. But in but in score bunny's defense, there are some. Uh, remember, score bunny's like ah, score bunny. It's Cinderace is basically like a um. Uh, the pro is like a soccer player essentially, especially because one of its moves is literally it kicking a, a rock, a fire size, a fire soccer ball at people, which is awesome. Um, and that's uh, nah, he didn't get it. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Mild flavored dishes, I can't do that. Mm. I'll use a box of curry. Um, yeah, I have to get my hands on as many of those berries as I can, because Lord knows I need, I want to use as much as I got my hands on. Um, please two of those. But yeah, it, it, it's always, it's always interesting. I don't know if it's because they're too lazy to draw the version, but it's like, it's crazy though, because when you think about it, like, um, uh, <sighs> Or when you think about it, like, the female version of Wabatha in this game. And then, keep in mind, I'm just mixing shit here because that's what I always do when I make the food. I just randomly mix stuff. Um, the female version of Wabatha in this game has makeup. That's a clear indication that you're dealing with the female version. Hell, Pikachu is a female version in this game where... <clears throat> Pikachu is a female version. The male version of Pikachu's tail is sharp edge. The female version of Pikachu's tail... It's kind of more like, um, heart shape? No. Straight line heart shape. If that makes any sense. You kind of see the edge of the heart of it, okay? But yeah, you can, it's kind of clear to see. That's what, that's what I'm trying to get. And, you know, it's just, it's just something that I noticed. You know, some, it, it's, uh, you know, it's interesting. Who knows, maybe with the next Pokemon game, they'll give males a clear definition of what they look like, the females a clear definition of and I'm not gonna lie to you. I do own. Mm, I did it right. <clears throat> well, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah. Um. Like. God, what was I saying? Yeah, I I do own a Pokemon that should, for all intents and purposes, should be female, but is a male. But I'm not. I don't have a problem with it. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, like I said, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. It, I'm just saying, <coughs> it's something to be noticed. I don't know if that means I did good or didn't do good. Oh, Lavatar, you almost got it! Shit. Alright, fuck it. <coughs> but I'll tell you what, uh, what I did, I'm going to do exactly what I did for the Crown Tundra that I'm do that I, uh, for the, uh, that I did for the, uh, 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 what the hell is the first DLC called? It's not the Crown Tundra. It's what, it's the other one. Um, I'm going to, shit. I'm going to stick with the three starters. That's what I did for the other one, right? I took Inteleon, uh, I basically put away all Pokemon and only left, like, um, where is, is Gookie at? There it is. Well, let's really go. I'm so sorry. I really don't remember the name of some of these things. Or at least it's not that I don't remember the name. It's that I guess the name just it eludes me while I'm it eludes me while I'm playing games, and I need to really try to remember that. Anyway, it's called multitasking. It's something that I can do, and I will do it. But any uh, ooh. Uh, what's going on, Isabel? <coughs> what's going on, Isabel? Haven't seen you in a minute, my friend. Haven't seen you in a minute. Just playing some Pokemon. About to go into the Crown Tundra very quickly. Uh, I don't want to bike there and waste your y'all's this time going me there, but I haven't seen you in a minute, man. How you, uh, have you been? How have you been? Hopefully you've been good. Hopefully you've been all right. You know, keeping uh, keeping up, keep keeping on, keeping on, and all that good stuff. Now where in the world am I at? No, no. Shit. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a mental note again. Alright, so we're back here at the station. Yeah, at least I think this is the station. 
Ah, we got here. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Is it White Hill? There's more. Winden, armor, and previous page. I think it was Winden. Let's check. It's not Winden. It's not Head. It's not Wedgehurst. Actually, I think I am supposed to go to Wedgehurst. About you, I've been good. What about you? All right, I've been fine. I've, you know, I've just been chilling. I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't. Ooh, okay. I can go to the Crown Thunder Station. That's where I'm gonna go. Anyways, yeah, I've been fine. I've, uh, I've recently returned to streaming Crash. If you've ever seen me, uh, if you ever seen me play Crash, then uh, my goodness gracious, Isabel, you are missing out. I'm telling you, like. Jeez, Louise, am I just that crazy with Crash? Uh, I'm probably going to stream it tomorrow. You know what? No, it's a guarantee. I will stream it tomorrow. I just can't tell you the time, though. I want to say before 10, but I can't make any promises because sometimes, you know, life happens. So I can't, I can, I can only say I might, I will try before 10 to stream it. Am I going to play Monster Hunter Rise? But of course, you, you don't even have to ask, man. That's going to be the best, that's going to be the best, that's going to be... That's probably going to be, that, that's a game that's already, both Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2 are my top 10, are already in my top 10, ga top 10 games for 2021, off rip. I already know they're going to be good. I need no convincing that they're going to be good. I love Monster Hunter Stories, and I love Monster Hunter uh, Generations Ultimate. By the way, I need to do all the quests in Generations Ultimate before I play Rise. It only makes sense, you know, if you're playing a game called Monster Hunter Rise, you need to rise to the challenge. Number of ancient ripple five between the two Pokedex. All the new. I just can't wait to see what new monsters are gonna have. Goodness gracious me! Please put bow guns in Monster Hunter stories. Actually, no, it wouldn't make sense. Put charge blade in Monster Hunter stories. I want to see the. I want to see how that's gonna look. Okay. Rockish. All right, what you got to sell for me, big boy? All right, so now let me check here. I got Pokeballs, Great Balls, I got Potions, Zip Potions, Max Potions, ah, uh, Hyper Potions, Max Potions, I got none. Full Restores, I got 64 of those. I don't think I need anything more. <sighs> nope, I don't need anything else. It's crazy. I'm wearing the same. I'm wearing the the the. Damn, the DLC theme eludes me, man. Shit. <laughs> uh, I don't really like Pokemon because of the broken el uh, because of the absolute broken element balancing. I mean, I somewhat understand because super effective moves can normally wipe out Pokemon's in one shot and all that stuff, and a lot of the. Newer Pokemon games nowadays make are a lot easier. Like, hold on, let me uh, let me just look at this real quick. I'll respond to you. Got a max venture and a max layer. I don't need you breathing down my neck. My girl sounds uh, this girl sounds like me. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. So, Fred, and some of way more fun than that musty old place. Loads of quality time with the cool stats ever. A cringe father. That's the story that we're gonna go with. A cringy father and a uh, girl who, god damn, knows how to keep her mouth open. Ugh. Anyways, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, like, um, or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed. As I unleash the noble roar of death. What? I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. God, this 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 is some very cringy dialogue I am currently reading here, folks. Ugh. Why? Should I do it? Uh should I should I be should I be an honorable knight and defend her? She's begging for help. Should I? But that's her dad, though. 
you know, I ain't got no business interfering in other people's family. I mean, when I play Cyberpunk, I'm going to be, the, I'm just going to be a complete asshole in that game. But this is a kid-friendly game, and I'm not allowed to be an asshole. This lady here, Odyssey Reason. That's your daughter! The nigga's name is Peony. Peony! Business suit in the tundra. In the tundra. Oh shit, how many Pokemon does he have? He may have everything he needs to whoop my ass, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like I probably should have had. Oh no, he only has two. Never mind. Oh, he has a steel type. He has a ground and a steel type Pokemon. I'm fucked. I have a. I'm currently using a fire type Pokemon that only knows three fire type moves and one ice. A one time gym leader? I have fought his ass for. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he is steel type. I forgot about that. Let me one shot him and just get it out of the way. Let's use Powerball. Anyways, what was I saying? Um. Yeah, a lot of. The Pokemon games were good back in the old day, though. Like, cause back in the old days, with when you got when your Pokemon got knocked out, you were gonna you actually had to try in those games. See, in this game right here, look at what I just did. I'm level 76, fighting against a level 70 person, and I just beat them with one move. With one move, and I wasn't even paying attention to the game. Not because I'm not interested, but because I'm answering to because I'm answering your comments. It's crazy. But back in the old days when I was playing games, his Pokemon would probably would have survived that attack. In the old games, the ones that were on the Game Boys and stuff. Man, those were the days. Those were the really good days. He's about to send out a Pokemon called Agron. I'd like to make the assumption that that Pokemon is probably a uh, fighting type or something like that. And if that's the case, I guess I'll just hit him with a uh, Rillaboom. Get out of the way. Popo and the what? Business with the Tundra and Popo and the Trailer. I got no idea what the hell you're telling me, Isabel. Steals as tough as they come. Oh, okay, so this thing's a skill type. Oh, Agron is that? Yeah, now we're going to the other thing. Alright, fuck it. Uh, let's, mm, let's try. Leaf Storm. Go, Leaf Storm! See, that's what I'm talking about, but then again, he's only level 2, so it's level 2. And he had leftovers. This man ate some nuts. Oh, it's a citrus berry. And he used Stone Edge. And real boom avoided the attack, but then he gets hit with some stay. I mean, he gets... That's another mechanic that I'm not gonna lie to you, I will agree with you with. Uh... That's another attack I'm gonna agree with you with. That's a bullshit right there. I use drum baiting. I think they tried really hard not to make Real Boom look like Donkey Kong. They tried really hard. They gave this man, they gave this man a full on, they gave this man a flush on, the word I'm looking for is body of hair, no, body, a full on, uh, thing of hair. Look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. And a daughter in a way. We have a proper father daughter, first one in ages, and now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she even finds, makes him a decoy and legs it. That's my DNA up for you. Man, what kind of a what kind of dad are you? Her papa that she loves him. <laughs> you know, as a father, I'd be a lot more pissed. He's his daughter ran away from him, and he's not really all that mad. If I was him, I'd be furious. I just want to see what the new stuff looks like. Oh my god, is that Jinx? Well, first things first. 
We gotta capture the new Pokemon we see. And this one's called Cryo Denial. So we go capture it. Hopefully I don't knock him out in one hit, so I'm not gonna use a fire type move. I I'm I oh shit, yeah, I'm gonna kill him in one hit. Let me use bounce and see if that works. The absolute dread in his face when you beat him. That's what I'm saying. Why am I getting hit when I'm in the air? Don't kill it, don't kill it! There we go. Oh, thank you. A Pokemon that's made with ice. Oh. A Pokemon that utilizes ice is currently... So let me see if I can catch it anyways. A Pokemon that uses ice uses a move called Acid Armor. It puts acid on his body. His body's made of ice. God, these Pokemon physics are just amazing, aren't they? Shit! Mm. Come on, Pokeball. Go! Oh my god, he didn't even try to break free. You try to use Sheer Cold on a fire type Pokemon? Come on. Stay in there. Oh my god! Oh, I'm starting to get mad now. I could literally one-shot him right now. I don't want to because I want to catch him. But what the look at what he's making me do? He's making me waste so many of my balls. Pause. Stay in the fucking Pokeball! Stay in the fucking Pokeball! Fuck! <laughs> this is not gonna end! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, my bunny's taking all this damage for no reason. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. This man got five more Pokeballs out of me and I'm gonna go kill him. Now stay in the damn ball! Please! God! Good God, man! Freezes those encounters when it and then it takes his victims away to somewhere unknown. Why does every single Pokemon entry in this game have to be something that's so fucking disturbing? It freezes those it encounters and then takes it away to an unknown location. Where did what? Anyways, that's a Jinx. Now, as if I'm not correct, Jinx is a psychic type. Psychic types are incredibly weak to dark type moves. I don't know how strong the Jinx is gonna be, but. Oh god, that's a lot of noise. I mean, the fifth Jamali bought like four, uh, 40 new monsters. What? So stories too might be a little similar. It's the oh okay, it's the fifth gen. That's the fifth gen monster hunter. Like most likely, brought like 40 new. Oh, I mean no, the fifth gen brought like 50, 40 new monsters. So stories may, may be a little similar. It all depends on Rise. Then, well, actually, that's the thing though. Like. At the same time, at the same time that I want to say that Monster Hunter Rise is going to, no, don't get me wrong, Monster Hunter Rise is going to add new monsters because we've already seen like at least three. I want to say three. We've seen already. We've already seen at least three. My question is like, what about in terms of other monsters? Because here's the thing. There's a lot of people who will swear by Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter, Ult Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate as being the, it's the game that got me, it's not the game that got me into Monster Hunter, that was Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate was the one, was my very first Monster Hunter game I bought for the DS, and I loved it. I, there was no, I didn't have any major complaints. If I had to, if I really had a complaint, it was this one was being, me being nitpicky. It's about the fact that Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate had the biggest selection of monsters I've seen in a, that, well, I've seen thus far in the game, but a lot of the monsters were the same thing. Let me put it to you this way, right? Oh my god, I want one of those! Shit! Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm, gonna let me, I'm gonna look at this cutscene and I'm gonna tell you. It all depends on rice. Uh, Monte Bud.
I'll give him this. This is a devoted father. Can't really say that about a lot of people. That's a devoted father. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah. Going back into what I was saying about Monster Hunter, right? Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate was a game I did like. I, I don't, like I said, I, I don't really have a whole bunch of complaints about it. But if I had, but, but I was nitpicky, and this was one gripe that it did bother me. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate had a huge selection of monsters, but a lot of the monsters were of the same type. I mean, with the same thing, with a different, essentially a different skin color and a new attack. Like, here, let me put it to you this way, right? Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate had a Rathalos, a Rathian, had, like, Rathalos, Rathian, and Tigrex in it, right? Now, you have Rathalos, you have Rathian. You have blue Rathalos, I mean, Azir Rathalos, and you have pink Rathian. Then you have gold Rathian and silver Rathalos. Off rip, that's six monsters right there. I understand it. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril. It tries a pair. Okay, now, okay, hold on. Um, right before, right before I press the button to hear what the ladies gotta say, I'm gonna just say this because I keep on pausing myself. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate has a whole bunch of monsters in it that are all the that are all basically like copies of one another. Uh, my Frontier stories. Your frontier stories. Oh, you play Monster Hunter Frontier? If so, I'd like to hear any of your stories. Cause Monster Hunter Frontier was one of those games I kind of wanted to play, never got a chance to. I bought a PS4. I tried to get a Japanese version on this PS4. Never worked. It didn't work for me. I couldn't find it. That sucked. But yeah, if you have any frontier stories, you feel free to tell. But let me go back to what I was saying about Monster Hunter 4. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate has a whole bunch of monsters that are all the same thing of each other. Like I just mentioned, there are at least six monsters alone are three different versions of the two flagship monsters, the male and the female. Then you have Tigrex, you have Brute Tigrex, you got Molten Tigrex, you got Devil Joe, you have Savage Devil Joe, you got Rajang, you got Furious Rajang, and I think the Super Saiyan 3 Rajang was in that game too. He might be in Frontier, but I think he was in 3. Then you go to Zenogre, and then you got the, uh, Zenogre was a monster that was introduced in 3, and then I think the Stygian Zenogre, the dragon one, was introduced in 4. Then you have, uh, then you have Nursilla, Shrouded Nursilla. It had a whole bunch of monsters, but it had a whole bunch of copies of the exact same monster. That's my point. Do I really need to save? Nah, fuck it. No, I don't. <clears throat> Alright, now let's hear the rules of this Dynamax Adventures. But yeah, uh, as well, you got any kind of frontier stories, you let me know. Oh, I forgot. A lot of these people are British. That was terrible. That was terrible. I'm so sorry to all the British people who watch me. I'm so sorry. Monster Hunter Stories was all other games, all 1 to 4, Monster Hunter Stories 2 just adds 1 gen. Yeah, true. I mean, uh, we don't know, because they didn't really say whether or not they were going to add a lot of them. And keep in mind, Monster Hunter, Sto Monster Hunter Stories didn't really add all the, uh, um, it really didn't add a lot of the 4th gen monsters. It added mostly 1, 2, 3. It didn't really add the 4th or 5th for that matter, because 5th, what would you start 5th gen, right, Isabel? What would you start as being 5th gen? Because the way I see it, 5th gen to me started with Generations, because that's when you got the flagship monster. I mean, no, 5th gen started with World, because that's when you got the New World monsters. And 4th gen, with the last 4th gen game, I would say, has to be Generations. And I wouldn't say it really had all of the 4th generation monsters in there. It did have Stygians and Ogre, which was, I believe, a 4th gen monster, but it didn't have... It didn't have, like, the other... It didn't even have the other flagship monsters of 4, but... It wasn't really a lot of new ones, was it? Of, of Generations. It should have had... Hell, if anything, it should have had Durin, Moran... It, had, it should have had one of those big monsters. Like, Jagras with the new Izuchi. I want Green Naga Kuga. I don't really care about Green Naga Kuga. So... You like Naga Kuga, that's fine. Easy's a fan of Naga Kuga because you give him the ninja outfit, but I'm not a fan of him. 
I like him as a monster, but like I, I never really understood the appeal of him. Maybe it's because of the old games, he was a lot tougher to deal with. The Max Lair is a labyrinth underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which are normally not found in the Galar region. Form a team of four trainers, set on to explore the mysterious Max Lair, see if you can find a legendary Pokemon set away to in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a dynamic adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. To get things started, having each trainer select the Pokemon that they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you will come to branches in the path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, mm -hmm. it'll be time for a Max Raid battle. Catch the Pokemon, you can swap it for the one you have, if you think it'll help you uh, press on into the depths of the day. To avoid the risk of Gilloff particle over exposure, which causes your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have a fair Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle effect. So I can't even use I can't even use my own Pokemon. I have to use their borrowed Pokemon. Stunningly incorrect. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost. Best type of place this is. My man's really just ignored the rules. Really cares about. I'll also let you keep one, just one, of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Let's save my adventure and have ourselves a fun. Goodwill Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie to you, Loki, that's probably what it is. You're still new, trying them alone. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Man, I don't even have friends. Okay, so what you're going to have for me here, people? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Ah, shit, you're timing me on this? Ah, fuck it. No, I want a dragon air! Shit. There's a strong water, and I had to go for the why? Why? <sighs> okay, for all intents and purposes, let's go to the bungalow. We didn't talk out nothing. I picked the path, and we go because I have a fire type Pokemon. Well, a Pokemon that knows a fire type move. And we're fighting a Dynamax. That is loud. That is unnecessarily loud. Can I fix the volume? I cannot fix the volume. Alright, we're gonna off rip the Dynamax and hit him with some fire, because I ain't trying to stay here for a long time and get fucked. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get knocked down? What the hell was that? Max Flutterfly! It's a ground bad Pokemon. How did you get knocked out? And why did my stats go down? I will never understand these Pokemon attacks. For the life of me. Of course, you, you checked up a sand book. Check it out. No, all the way. All the fucking way. What is wrong with this game? Please don't make the attack go at this point. Oh, good shit. Nope. 
that's what's on me. What did that do? Let me check here. Oh, just lower the, 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 the special defense. Alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. But go with Max Flare again! Skitter Smack? Is that really what we're calling it? Skitter Smack? Do I really want to throw a Pokeball and catch it? It's a bug type Pokemon that's very weak. I don't want to catch it. Okay, now I can either go for the ground with the berries or go over here with the lady right there. And I'm being time for it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Eating mini mana ball, get the tiger by the zone, eating all the lingo, eating mini mana ball. Alright, we're going down the electric path. Shit. Oh, damn! Are you interested in swapping Pokemon for another rental? A magneton? Ah. And you don't get to, and you don't get to, oh, okay, now I'm trying to get this. Oh, HR 300. <laughs> this game is unnecessarily loud for some reason. I don't have any moves here that will do any sort of damage to these punk ass. Alright, so I can flash cannon, let's go. Oh my god, hold on. What does magnet rise do? Move good level tanks using electricity generated magnet. It doesn't do anything! I automatically regret. I automatically regret picking this Pokemon. At least we have a ground type. Two of them actually. One of them's a rock type. Dynamax. Oh, no. I feel like this is the part where we're all gonna lose. Look at the damage I'm doing to him! It should not work on a rock type! Well, actually, it's rock and steel. What does this do? Reduce damage from special attack for five turns. Alright, I'll do that. Use light screen! If Luxray had the ability to heal from that shit, that would be more impressed. Finally, it's my turn. Dynamax! What does this do? At this point, I don't even really care. Let's just see what Max Seal's back does. It gotta do something. It has to do some kind of damage. Spray! Love Spray wants to be a bitch. Could you repeat that, please? I don't even know what you want me to repeat, you say. Okay, okay, okay. All this unnecessary yelling. Up a little bit. Right, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I always like to see what things I can get in my Lux Ray is sweet. Throw a Pokeball at him. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like if I throw a Pokeball at him, I'm gonna fuck myself over. But the other one I have is so gosh darn useless. I will not catch him.
I'm regretting this automatically. And there's no professor here to trade Pokemon with. Ain't that a bitch. Uh, Alright, since I do have an electric type Pokemon with me, I might as well go for water. So I can't do shit. Oh, really? Steel type moves are not effective against a psychic type Pokemon. Glare! Because Glare is going to. Of all the things that Glare is going to do. Oh, it paralyzed me. Never mind. Good shit. Good shit! Not good shit. Oh god, he used Aqua Jet and knocked his ass out. Oh wait, he's still alive? That's surprising. Ugh. 68 tons, I can't do anything about it. What does that even mean? I don't like this, but he takes some hella red shit in the comments, bro. I'm like, what the hell, 68 tons and I can't catch not one? What does that even mean? I ain't gonna catch it, right? Because I think the final Pokemon at the end was a legendary bitch. Poppy decided to switch the Pokemon. There we go. I knew the last Pokemon was gonna be a water type. But is it a legendary though? It most definitely is! It's Suicune! Will I win if I go up against the Suicune? This is actually the first time I've ever faced Suicune in a game. Oh, 68 subs. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Well, the only reason why it, it's happened to me is... I mean, the only reason why I have 68 subs is because I have, I've been kind of lapsing on the content. Well, I promise you, I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm going to get there. I've been at 68 for a while, but I will get there. I, I will rise. I will rise. It just takes time. I mean, I have to rebuild. I have to rebuild myself from the fact that I went, like, I want to say a month or two without having produced a video or a stream. And keep in mind, I'm also one of those people who said I have uh, I have absolutely no care about YouTube's rules and I will curse and all that shit. And I don't give a fuck. But don't worry, we will rise above the occasion. We will rise. Yeah. Gotta keep the gotta keep that positivity. Can I Dynamax? Oh I can't Dynamax. And I'm running out of Electro Balls. <laughs> I'm literally down to my last two electric balls. Oh god, he just reverted all of our stats. Somebody hit him! Somebody hit him! Oh god, he's gonna hit me. It's me, he's aiming at me. Oh shit, it wasn't. He aimed at the first thing that's weak to me. The walk and steel type. And he made it win. Even better. I'm pretty sure we would have won here. Oh, don't worry. 68. I'm so close to getting the funny number. At some point, at one point, I was at the funny number. And it should happen. Hit him. Hit him with balls! See now I'd be a now I'd be a complete idiot to say don't catch him. 
So let's cap. No, let me not fuck this up. I, I'm pretty sure they said it's a 100% capture for less for these Pokemon. But just in case, Suicune, get this Walter Ball. Let's see, I've got three people watching. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Come on. I know they, I remember reading they said it's a 100% chance, but I, I don't know. It may not be 100% on your very first try. And I got a Suicune! Sweet! Oh my god, I am so sorry. If you, if you guys unsubscribe each other that very much, the way I just said, I understand. That was... <sighs> Fuck it, yeah, I'm keeping Suicune, my guys. Hell yeah! Keep the rental. I don't want it. I got a Suicune. I got a legendary Pokemon. Let's go. Would I like to give him a nickname? Why doesn't he have a description? Nope. The music busts. Yeah, a little bit. Hang on. Oh, I recognized you. Are you here for a Dynamax event? I'm so sorry. Are you here for a Dynamax adventure too? Wicked. Guess we're on the same wavelength. If I sound Australian or British, British and it sounds very terrible, I apologize. I'm Paonea. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? I'm Tuffer. Watcher! Name's Tuffer! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you always talk? That's not bad. Oh, it's not bad. Look at me. I'm a regular old flirt. This accent is impressive. I appreciate that, Mr. Noble Guys. So, is my dad on his way to here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? God, my cat keep this up. <clears throat> Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud boy. Things go all right after I left. What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. Oh god, I think I just unplugged my phone charger. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. Crikey! She looks 70 and 80 at the same time. I'm sorry. She looks 70 and 8, 17 and 80 at the same time. Yeah. The hair, it's the hair, I'm telling you. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on and on and on about how he planned for us to check out the local legends on this super intense adventure tour, or adventure, as he calls it. Boy, I mean, come on, what girl, ah, I'm so sorry, that is not what a girl sounds like. What girl my age would be caught dead doing not things like that with her dad? At 17 years old? You'd be surprised how many girls actually go on adventures and all that shit with their fathers. Actually, I think they crave that shit. You know, the communication, the, 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 you know, the, the comfort, the warmth, the, the friendliness. Besides, I really haven't, I, <coughs> I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, oh, the thrill of that one of those massive, towering Pokemon. The connotations over there will not be, so, uh, will not be told by me. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. He he. And good god. Look at the motions. You know what? I just thought you're a pretty fierce trainer, right? I bet you can handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Sounds like great fun, rather than old place. Nah, nah, you 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 stick with your you stick with your dad. Oh no me despite all appearances to the contrary. So hyped up about this would be a shame to just leave him on his own. Who knows if you didn't know I did! I caught... Sorry about the yawn. I caught a Suicune. She looks like she's trying to hide her hair fading by dyeing her hair half pink. Half... You're telling me. Meet back up with you two after I've done my own fun of the Max Lair. Go on then, enjoy your twosome. That's so terrible. Tell my dad, tell my old man the deal and all that. Dilly out, have to pip pip a dilly doo. Oi! No man just knocked out on the floor. <laughs> of 
poor gentleman has been injured after kicking it after mud kicking and screaming. I brought him back here. Damn, what the hell slumped my man on the floor? Appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Video games. Fun to use that accent, huh? Not really. Boy, boy, loser. No, it was not fun at all. I was quite literally struggling to say all that shit. This gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock. Oh, never mind. I mean, I don't understand why. That kid's got me. Oh, Kip. It's Kip. Not Kid, it's Kip. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Mia? I did. Hmm. She wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Adventure. I've burned the castle. Oh, I've burned the candle at both ends, working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at the age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any dad of the year over. They have years in this show. Ash Ketchum for the last 20 or 30 something years has been 10. They have years in this thing? <sighs> Send that man to Weenie Hut General. I might just do that. <laughs> The man has gray hair. He's in his fifties, and he's acting like as if the man, and he's acting like as if he's twenty-five. Man. Uh. Freezington. Time for a strategic planning meeting for peonies. I'll fill you on the details when you get there. Let us recover both hands, just pulling a leg if I actually talk like that. Oh, that was so bad. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, you know what? Just, to, just, just for shits and giggles, I want to go on another Dynamax adventure. Let me save. I want to see what we're going to fight this time. All right? Let me invite some other weeaboos. The, oh, shit. Wait, hold on. I'm not even online. I'm so sorry. Oh, how rude of me. <sighs> let's see how many... Let's see who managed to catch what. So I can get mad. No offense to lurkers. Finally a non-lurker. I don't know if you're talking about lurkers from Jack and Daxter or something else. I don't care about max raid battles. They have a chatter section? Shit. Fuck it. Alright, weebs. Don't make me go on an adventure with four useless people again. Let go! A dude by the name of Brent, a female by the name of Batora, Nicholas. Oh my god, we have to have that one guy who's not looking at a switch. Easy man, hurry up and get a switch so I don't have to go through all this bullshit. Fight me! Oh wait, he's ready. Is it raining outside? I think it is raining outside. Oh shit. Fuck. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm last! I'm the one who's starting the adventure! Why are you giving me the Pokemon last? He chose Skunk Tank. He probably got poison moves and dark moves. He chose Sneasel. He chose Barbuckle. <coughs> uh, everybody picked a Pokemon with dark type moves. 
I probably will be the only one picking Munchlax because he's the only one who has like three different moves he can use. Oh, off rip, we gotta go for the ice. It's a psychic type legendary Pokemon. Let's go! I vote to go. I vote to go there. Cause that right there is a dark dragon type Pokemon. You bitches! That's that's that three-headed dragon type dark dragon type Pokemon, you dumbasses! I don't even have an ice wolf to go up against him. It's Crocodile. He's a ground type. He's dark any. Well, he, well, he's a he's a dark type. He should be a ground type. But was it his pre-evolved form that he's ground type? You know what? I don't even care anymore. So I have no moves that will actually hurt him. I have a move that will actually hurt you. Oh wait, no, never mind. Let's hope he gets. Let's hope he gets paralyzed. You see, I'm the most useful, I'm the most, isn't it Totodile the first form? No, Totodile is a water type. Anyways, what was I doing? Okay, yeah, see, I'm the most useful person here. I'm the one who actually afflicted him with something that'll hurt his ass. I paralyzed him. Now he may have, now he has a 40% a chance of not hitting any of us with a move. Good shit, team. Let's go. See? This will happen when you play with humans. They know what they're doing. Do I want to catch him? No. Right, he's a dark type, though. I have to catch him because we need a dark type for the, for the, for the, for the shit. You know what? I feel like we're going to get another dark type. And who knows? Maybe somebody else caught him. Where's the sound? Muted the game. Oh, the game is muted? Oh, shit. Apologies. Fuck. I really thought that was gonna work. Alright, can you guys hear it now? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, God. Oh, please. Grass. No! What are you people doing? What is wrong with you people? Oh, my God. It's not my fault you guys have trash ass Pokemon that keep getting hurt. <sighs> and a yell. That's <laughs> Is that supposed to be a flying and water type Pokemon? Oh wait, it's a flying type. I can hear. I can hurt it. Use Thunder Punch! Oh god, you, you, you dynamite from the Pokemon now. You better know what the hell you're doing with them as we go when we start playing. And right now I see a rock type for all oh, your Pokemon, the water type. So that's right. I think that's right. Like, first rock. It's one of those two. You know, I don't even care anymore. That transformation didn't even amount to shit. Fuck. 
fucked up everything and blew a whole box of wind in our face. Max E. It didn't even poison the Pokemon. Of course, I'm the one who does the most damage because I'm the one who picks the Pokemon that are more likely to be useful in these situations. See my Pokemon? He got four different moves that could possibly that could potentially cause him to lose. Now is there any Pokemon in this game that are weak to poison that are weak to normal types? I actually am quite curious. Does any of you guys know if there's a Pokemon out there that is actually weak to normal type moves or normal type Pokemon? But I've never seen a Pokemon who's weak to normal types. And why is that not the case? Because normal types are weak to fighting types. Fighting types are weak to Psychic, Psychic are weak to Dark, Dark are weak to Ghost, Ghosts are weak to... Ghosts... Ghosts are weak to Dark? Huh? Man, am I really that slow that I'm the one out of all the people here? I mean, look, I'm about to deal the knockout blow. Look at that. Look at that. Never, never let it be said that Rocket is not a team player. Now, I'm not going to catch you. We're going up against a Psychic type. And I want to get at least one more Dark type before we do that. I knew it, it was a water and flying type. Which means my attacks did double damage. Alright, low key, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I off rip want the dark. Because after the after this, it's the psychic type Pokemon we're about to fight, so. There we go. I'm catching this one. I mean, you could call it a free legendary farm. The problem is, is that does that poison the nigga? Yeah, let's try that. You could call it a free legendary Pokemon farm. The problem is, is that I imagine you're gonna get tougher Pokemon. I mean, you're gonna get tougher legendaries to go up against. If you try to, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, you're gonna get, I mean, the, the harder the legendary Pokemon you're going after, the more struggles you'll have to go through. I, I, I can't confirm that for certain, but I feel like that's the case. Whew. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm getting, I'm getting right tired. I might just, I don't know, I'll, we'll have to see. If the legendary Pokemon is not, is something that's boring, I'm gonna end the stream. If it's something interesting, I mean, no, if it's boring, I'll fight one more Pokemon. Because we can't, uh, we can't end the stream off on a bad legendary. It gotta be a good legendary second type Pokemon. Like maybe Jiriachi. Please poison it, ass. Fuck. I can at least guarantee you might get paralyzed. Well, that is cold in my room right now. I'm sitting comfortably in there, but... Any time now, people. If you didn't like your choice, you should have picked something else. He have a king's crown. What the hell is that noise? 
with the Pokemon I'm making. Oh god, he hit him with Thunderbolt. Max! Ooh. If it doesn't poison him, I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious. He's not even going to survive, but if he does, I think this is a guaranteed paralyze. quite waiting for them to finish him off so I can catch him. Use a regular Pokeball. We're not a charity around here. You can get the regular one. You better be healed up, straight up. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You better be healed. I want to swap my Pokemon. There we go. First of all, my thing was damaged. Second of all, we're going up against a psychic type Pokemon. Now let's see what it is, ladies and girls. It better be me. I got a long, that was a long pause, black screen. It's Mewtwo, let's go! Oh my god, he's exerting his pressure. For my second ever legendary Pokemon, I'm fighting up against a Mewtwo. Let's go, you flush out! Damn, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I was low key kind of hoping for Jiriyaki and this, but like, this is a definite catch. This one is one of the most potent. I got a catch. Would you use a move like Sucker Punch? Why would Mewtwo? Oh shit, Mewtwo can heal itself. Oh, Frick already knows what to do. They're not fucking around, so neither am I. It's super effective. God, yes, use Poison Jack. Maybe he'll get poisoned. Nah, fuck it. I'm wasting all five of the moves. Oh damn, what if the Mewtwo knows disabled though? Should we actually use a fairy? I thought it was psychic! In Pokemon Shuffle, he's a psychic. Oh god, this is a ice type move. Oh shit, aim for me! Oh lord! Oh god, it's snowing. Master! Why is the moon so weak against this thing? Take his ass out. There you go. There you go. See? Where do they? Anyway, let's go. 
the attacks are getting more. Why did you dodge the Raker Strike? Oh god. Oh lord. Everybody's getting hit with the hail. You two caused this hail. That was a question? No, that's what I'm saying. No, I know. I answered your question. I said, I don't know. I, I could have sworn he was a psychic type. I'm not sure if you're actually the fairy type. You know what? This is the reason why we have Google. Ah, fuck. Wait, hold on. Wait. Every time I use this move, it uses two of them? Fuck it. Maybe it's because Mewtwo is such a big ass Pokemon. Let's check. I'm, a, I'm going to check that for you right now, uh, Isabel. Uh, Jiriachi. Let's check here. Alright, uh. Alright, so according to the ever so reliable Yahoo, Jirachi is a. He might knock us out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He might knock us out. Alright, so Jirachi is a. God! Why do they take so long? Okay. Jirachi is a steel and psychic type Pokemon. To answer your question, Isabel, Jirachi is a steel. I didn't even know it was steel. I, I could have wanted. I, no, I knew it was psychic. I did not know it was a steel type too. It's a steel and psychic type Pokemon. It makes no sense. How would Jirachi a steel and psychic type Pokemon? It's a star. If anything, it should be a rock and psychic type Pokemon. Ah, fuck. You're knocking us out one by one. Oh, Lord. No! We lost our Giga... We lost our Gigamax. I mean, we lost our Dynamax. Wait, I have another one. Let's go. Oh, fuck. He disabled my Lash Out. What's that mean? Oh. Oh. Oh, please work. I don't want to lose. We're already missing one walk. And Mewtwo is literally one, like, two hits away from knocking out the rest of the team. Yeah, cheer for us. Useless. Never trust a dude named Nicholas. Ah, uh, fuck. He healed! No! Okay, yeah, we got him. 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 Thunderbolt! He made a catch! And naturally, I have to catch Mewtwo with the first Pokemon. He was the first legendary we all he was the first legendary to be named. Yes, Mewtwo was the first legendary to be named in a movie. In a movie, in a movie. We go catch him then. Cause they never told us about ho -Oh. In fact, I don't even think they ever talked about ho -Oh in the show. Go in, Mewtwo! Go in! Just click, just click. Don't even do all the rest of that shit. Oh my god, he's doing the rest of that shit. Just, just click, just click. No, 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 no. Just click. Stay click. Click. Damn. Stay click. Don't scare us by not doing that. Oh, it's off rip. Off Yes. Let's check out Mewtwo's summary. Let's see what he got for you. Mewtwo, the soccer type legendary Pokemon. Dynamax level, actually pretty nice. Has the ability to perform psychic, disable, recover, and blizzard. It's bold by nature. I met him in the lair on the 23rd of October. It was 70. It's capable of taking hits. Yes, it is. It's a Gabini. We're gonna send you to the box. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna end the stream off right here. Because I am starting to get a wee bit tired. So, <clears throat> I thank you guys very much for watching. 
I have been your faithful and very reliable Captain Rocket, and be prepared for, I mean, uh, well, stay tuned for tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter if you don't, at the, uh, I mean, at the, un at the underscore unfiltered one, I mean, the unfiltered underscore one. Fuck, I can't pronounce my own Twitter handle correctly. Yeah. Yeah, see, see, yeah, see me tomorrow too, so I can play Bandic, so I can play Crash Bandicoot. Peace out, you guys. I'm not gonna give you guys a long outro.